Hello and welcome to this video on Citrix ADM Role-Based Access Control. In a typical enterprise, there are many departments which use multiple set of applications hosted on Citrix ADCs. Let's first look at the case of a network admin. A network admin needs to see his set of Citrix ADCs and is concerned with operations like instance management, config management, network reporting, etc. And when we log on to Citrix ADM as a super administrator, we see the holistic view, that is, all the Citrix ADCs. How do we restrict this view to the view that the network admin needs? We first create an access policy in which we give the network admin access to the network set of modules, that is, something which he needs on a day-to-day -day basis as he is not concerned with the other modules. Now, as we know, access policies are linked to roles and roles to groups. We will next create a group in which we define what set of Citrix ADCs the network admin must have authorization scope on. So I select five Citrix ADCs out of the whole list of Citrix ADCs as I want this network admin to have authorization only to these five Citrix ADCs. I finish the configuration. And now I log out from the super admin role. Let's now log in as this network administrator. Now I get to see only five Citrix ADCs as per my expectation. And you'll also see that every single pane on this uh, ADM dashboard is filtered out only for the five Citrix ADCs. Also, only the network set of modules are visible to him and everything else is hidden. So that is the view of a network admin. Now next we'll see the use case of an application admin. The app admin needs to see his set of applications. The infrastructure is already taken care of by the network admin. And the app admin's tasks are to ensure the application's performance. Uh, he needs to find insights on HTTP and SSL traffic going through these applications, etc. Now, when we log into ADM as the super admin, we see the holistic view, that is the view which showcases all the applications. Now, to restrict this view to the view of a specific application administrator, first we need to create an access policy. In this access policy, we give the app admin view for the application set of modules. Next, we create a group in which we will define the set of applications that this app admin needs authorization scope on. So we create a group and I select the list of applications as only the IT applications as this administrator is concerned only with these two applications out of the whole list of applications. Now I finish the configuration and log out from ADM as the super admin. I now log in as the application administrator. And as per the configuration, I see that ADM has filtered out only two set of applications for this app admin's view, which are in his ownership. All the other uh, analytics as well are filtered only for these two set of applications, which belong to the ownership of this app admin. So this is how ADM restricts the view only to his set of modules and entities. Next, let's take a look at the security admin who owns certain applications and certain Citrix ADCs. And his tasks include taking care of SSL certificates, getting insights on L4 and L7 application attacks. Uh, he needs to define the strength of the WAF and the ADC security config, etc. Now, when I log in as the super administrator, I get to see the holistic view. To define the view of a security admin, I need to navigate to access policies and create an access policy which has a view only for the security admin's tasks. That is, I give him access to SSL certificate management module, web insight module, and security insight module. Now, access policies are linked to roles and roles to groups. So next, let's create a group. We assume that the security admin is responsible for all the Citrix ADCs and all the applications, and hence in the configuration, 
we allow him access to the complete environment. That is, we don't restrict his access to specific set of Citrix ADCs and apps. Now the configuration is over. So we log out from Citrix ADM and log in as the security admin. And we get to see the modules which we had given him access to only. That is, I see the SSL dashboard in which all the SSL certificate details are already updated. And we see the other modules like Web Insight and Security Insight. This is how Citrix ADM helps role-based access control for multiple administrator roles. It not only helps you restrict the view to a specific set of entities, that is Citrix ADCs and apps, but also helps you define what modules should be shown or hidden to a particular administrator role. Thank you for watching this video.